Hi guys, as you can see, I'm on holiday and away from a gym, so I thought I'd take you through a quick 10 exercises to build mass, strength, shape and explosive power in your chest from bottom to top and from the outside all the way to the inside as well. So we're going to start off with something real simple, something that everyone knows, it's just a simple press up, so I'll show you a good form, good way to do it. Hands nice and wide, just about shoulder width apart, keep your core tight so your body is flat, all the way down and up should be doing at least 10 of these and pausing at the bottom. Then what we're going to do to build a bit of shape from side to side, we're going to do an isometric exercise. It's called wipers, isometric wipers. Again, standard position, your hands slightly wider than the normal press up. And we're going to come down over to the side over to the side and you should be able to do about five per side bearing in mind that you're going to have to do three sets of each of these exercises the next exercise we're going to do is one for explosive power and it engages your chest in an isometric way since you're moving whilst you're doing it these are called clock push-ups and each time you do them you should change the the direction of your rotation. Here's a quick example of a clock push-up. Then in your standard position, what you're going to do is keep the feet slightly wider apart this time as you're going to be pushing off of one. As you come down, you want to balance yourself off of one foot, so I'm going to be going this direction clockwise, and therefore pushing off of my outside leg. really builds explosive power because you're moving in one direction and pushing off of one side is isometric as well so don't forget to go the other way now you don't need any equipment a small wall will help so obviously you can use a wall like this to do a basic incline press now to make it more difficult if the wall is too high like this I could do is put my feet on a block or on a bench. But essentially, you want your hands to be just wider than shoulder width apart. And you're going to be bringing your chest, the top of your chest, down to the wall rather than coming up too high and bringing the bottom of your chest to the wall. So, again, you don't want too much of a sink in your back. You're going to be keeping your core tight, coming down to the wall, pressing away. Now, if you'd like to make this more difficult, Add claps or get your foot up onto a, a block but still making sure that you maintain that angle. Now in order to build the bottom of our chest we want to put our feet on the wall and create a downward sloping angle. Like this and you always want to have your, your hands just wider than shoulder width apart, core tight and coming all the way down and back up. feet are on the wall like that, it's a great one for your core as well, really having to stabilise your position and your posture. Okay, so what we're going to do now is again a couple explosive power exercises and isometric shape exercises. So what we're doing for our isometrics, simpler, you can make this to make this simpler, you just need a, a lower platform. More difficult, I can raise the platform. What we're going to do is have one hand higher than the other. It's a standard press up. Because you're engaging one side more than the other, it's more of an isometric movement. And because you're able to dip down lower than the floor on the one side, you're engaging the very outside of your chest. Now, one set one exercise of this, of this type, you should be doing both sides. Don't wait to repeat this for three sets. To complete one exercise, you need to be switching your hands. And you should superset this with an explosive motion. 
clap press ups. Motion really focuses on explosive power, bringing it from the outside of your chest, squeezing right to the inside, getting your upper body off the floor. Before we start our moving press, we need to do a diamond press to really focus on the inside of your chest and your triceps. As it would suggest, get your hands in the shape of a rough diamond. And you're going to come all the way down with your elbows tight to your body and press up. Each of these exercises should be completed to a count of about 10. Moving on to the next shape of the exercise. So there's a standard diamond press. Going straight on after 10 repetitions to a moving hand press up. So, what we're going to do for this, not quite diamond, but hands nice and close. Come down for one, hands one wider. Down for one, again, move your hands. And again. Again. And keep going. So you can't really reach anymore and then start moving your hands back in again you'll really feel this work in your chest from the very outside all the way in right. just to complete our set of 10 exercises for the chest there's one more explosive movement what we're going to be doing is pushing ourselves off the floor moving our hands as we do it, again to create an isometric stress on our chest. So if you start with your hands level, I want you to come all the way down, explode off the floor, and move your hands. Ten repetitions of each of the ten exercises three times through each of them and you'll have a complete chest workout with no weights needed. Good luck. <laughs> 